Welcome to Unit 3. Lesson 2. Elements and Principles of Art The previous discussions have introduced the elements of different forms of arts. In this particular lesson, the fusions, interrelated and overlapping elements will be discussed. Examples are also given. Let us start. Fusion Art fusion happens when there is collaboration between an artist from any field such as music, literature, architecture, fine art, graffiti, etc. with a brand of any kind like a product, service, fashion, and charity. To create a product, service, or concept for the benefit of both parties and society at large. The artist provides the vision, creativity, and sense, while the brand provides the production infrastructure, scale, and marketing channels. A well-chosen, well-planned and well-executed collaboration can bring favorable effects on the brand, artists, and society. It can bring talk value, create a feeling of innovation and excitement, and activate a dormant brand to an enticing name for a whole new audience. Also, it gives voices to artists in nurturing society's soul which art fusion can amplify. Further, it gives society a sense of longing and imbuing everyday life with the art experience. There is also a so-called folk art fusion. Galler in 2017 stated in his book entitled Folk Art Fusion, Learn to Paint Colorful Contemporary Folk Art in Acrylic, that folk art fusion blends classic subjects with new techniques to create a lovely work of art that is entirely unique. He added that it gives the artist the chance to explore the colorful combination of art styles and present them in modern folk art paintings. Also, it gives the possibility for aspiring artists to learn how traditional folk art continues to influence today's painters, and to discover how to create contemporary folk art paintings themselves. Colorful, contemporary, and inspirational, folk art fusion allows artists of all skill levels to quickly discover the joy of creating modern, global-inspired art in this time-treasured genre. Fusion also happens in music. One example is jazz rock, a popular modern jazz improvisation accompanied by the bass lines, drumming styles, and instrumentation of rock music, with strong emphasis on rhythm and electronic instruments. Interrelated Hawk suggests from the website Fine Art America that interrelated art uses art forms which have identical characteristics. There may be noticeable differences but relatedness is evident. For instance, acting and designing are interrelated art forms under a director's supervision. When acting, you take the words on the paper and deliver those lines that affirms the director's imagination. You design a character in time and space, either on stage or on camera with those lines. The same with designing, the creative process also contains conceptualizations, formalizations, and exactions which should also fit the vision of the director. It is also sometimes portrayed in visual arts just like painting, drawing, sculpture and the like. Overlapping Reader specified that overlapping in art is apparent when objects are placed over one another to create an illusion of depth. It happens when artists need to provide viewers with the perspective in establishing size and distance especially in painting. Even if such art is two-dimensional, one could still create the illusion of depth through overlapping. In fact, overlapping helps viewers to distinguish the closest and the farthest object from them. It also helps create that there is an entire world inside the canvas that viewers could have a glimpse of. Further, it can be used to blur the lines of where one thing starts and another begins. We now go to examples of fusion, interrelated, and overlapping arts. The first one is graffiti. 
Graffiti, also called street art, spray can art, subway art or aerosol art, is a form of visual communication which could be written or drawings made on a wall or other surface. It is a form of artistic expression usually done illegally by an individual or group. Although stylistic and symbol or phrase spray painted on a wall, some are not gang related but an anti-social behavior seeking for attention. But, it is deemed an expressive art form. It could be produced through the use of spray paint and markers and or mural paints. The movement began amid an outbreak of urban street protests in the Atlantic about 1968. In Europe, it arose during the protest of students from Berlin and Paris. In America, it emerged in Philadelphia, then New York where it flourished into a major form of urban contemporary art. What are the styles of graffiti? Tag Tagging is the easiest and simplest style of graffiti. It only uses one color with the artist's name or identifier. This style originally evolved from the term old school when graffiti art began to develop in the 1970s and 1980s. Next is tea throw up. A throw up is larger and slightly more complicated than a graffiti tag. It usually has two or more colors and a bubble style lettering. Next is blockbuster. A blockbuster is more complicated than a throw up. It is usually in blocky letters, often performed with a paint roller. It is executed simply to cover a large area in a short span of time in order to stop other graffiti sprayers from painting on the same wall. We also have the wild style. Wild style is an elaborate version of a throw up and is particularly hard to read. It often consists of arrows, curves, spikes and other things that non-graffiti artists might not understand. The last type of graffiti is heaven. Heaven is a tag that is done on a place that is difficult to go to. Graffiti artists who are able to produce a heaven style of graffiti usually gain respect from the other artists. This time, we will discuss poetry performance. Poetry performance, also called spoken word poetry, is poetry that is composed to be performed before an audience. It is intended to be recited out loud, giving the impact of wordplay through tones and intonations underlying the uttered words and sounds. Though it could be printed, it does not work well when printed in books. Poets who perform their printed books in front of an audience or through radio are called performance poets. They often are not academically trained in writing poetry. They use different styles of writing poetry that is suited for oral presentations. Next is performance art. Performance art is a live presentation of any kind of art form such as acting, poetry, music, dance, painting, etc. in front of an audience or onlookers. However, Carr in 1993 argues that it is not just a simple performance for the sake of entertainment purposes, but it is a conceptual art which conveys a content-based meaning. Challenging its audience to think in new and unconventional ways, and break down conventional ideas about what art is. It can include satirical elements. Utilize robots and machines as performers, ritualized elements, or borrow elements of any performing art such as dance, music, and circus. It began in the early 1970s as a general term for a multitude of activities dash body art, actions, events, guerrilla theater, embracing a wide diversity of styles. It was characterized by creativity, spontaneity, audience interaction, and political agitation. Have you ever made a picture or a movie through the use of a computer or any digital technology? If so, then you are making a digital art. Next is digital art. Digital art is work made with digital technology or presented on digital technology. It involves images done on a computer using a software program like Adobe Illustrator. 
It can also involve animation and 3D virtual sculpture renderings as well as other projects that combine several technologies. Video images also fall in this category. The term has evolved. It was first used in the 1980s to an early computer painting program. It was a method of art making which can be viewed in many ways, on television, the internet, computers, and multiple social media platforms. In other words, digital art is a merger between art and technology, and it could not really exist without computers. Artists first began exploring the possibilities of art from computers and related technologies in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Gear in 2006 highlighted in his book entitled Art, Time, and Technology that early experiments with computer art came around when German artist Frieda Naik, a mathematician, created a computer algorithm that enabled the machine to draw a series of shapes to make artwork. The computer-generated drawings were some of the earliest examples of computer artwork. Examples of Digital Art Digital Painting Digital painting appeared in 1990s in which the use of traditional painting techniques such as watercolor, oils, impasto, etc. are applied using digital tools using a computer, a graphics tablet, and software. Digital painting could be done through the following software, Photoshop, GIMP, Inkscape, Affinity Designer I, a precise vector graphic design tool, Rebel, that can create realistic watercolor, acrylic, wet and dry media artwork, Clip Studio Paint Pro, aimed at manga and comic artists, Art Reaver 7, good for beginners, Art Rage 6, a cross-platform digital painting with realistic tools, and Corel Painter 2020, with plenty to offer artists of all levels. Just observe the examples. What can you say? Currently, it has become a standard. With the rise of digital cameras today, analog photography has gradually vanished. But what exactly is digital photography? How did it earn its place of preeminence? We also have digital photography. Digital photography includes the use of images taken from reality through photographs, scans, satellite imaging, and other possible records. Lee in 2010, described in the journal entitled The Information Society that digital photography focuses the light from the lens onto an array of electronic light sensors hooked up to a computer processing chip to create a digital image and store it in digital memory. The stored image can be seen immediately on the camera screen, transmitted to other devices for storage or further processing, and digitally published on the Internet. With this kind of art, there is no danger of losing photographs by accidentally exposing film, or making a failure in the development process that ruins the photo forever, just like in the analog photography. You could also see your results immediately, retake a shot, and save time for processing. Isn't it amazing? We have digital sculpture. Digital sculpting, also known as 3D sculpting, uses a computer-aided software, which can later be either displayed as physical objects slash models or shown as virtual images in screens. Computing allows for the, the manipulation and controlling of complex geometry, as well as their 3D visualization, significantly enhancing traditional design abilities to foster grander creative ideas. Early sculptors who use digital methods include Robert Lazzarini, Tony Craig, Vim Delvoy, Birch Cooper, John Raffman, and Anish Kapoor. With the rise of technology today, artists are becoming more comfortable with it. The emergence of platforms like Artsy, Artspace, and Paddle 8 suggests that viewers are adjusting to observing artworks on a screen, too. In fact, museums and galleries are following suit, building new exhibition spaces suited to digital installations and projections. We call this digital art installations. 
Some digital design installations could also be found within or without buildings. Sometimes they present different kinds of information such as building maps, company history, and advertisements. With this emerging kind of art, artists and designers have the opportunity to play with real virtual boundary between the viewer, or user, and the digital dimension. It also offers new opportunities for viewers to actively participate in the artwork. They could touch, participate, and interact socially. Take a look at the mind-bending installations and beautiful spaces that create possibilities given by new technologies. In this lesson, we have discussed about the fusions, interrelated and overlapping elements of art. That is end of Unit 3, Lesson 2. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.